Well, can electricity from solar panels be more cost efficient than electricity from fossil fuels? One Bay Area company is convinced that it can happen even without subsidies. This week it broke a solar energy record. Richard Hart reports on the drive to discover cheaper solar. In Mountain View this week, these workers are unloading and assembling a pilot plant to manufacture this, the most efficient commercial photovoltaic solar panel yet. It turns almost one-third of the sun's energy into electricity, a new record. But that barrier keeps, uh, you know, the, the theoretical limit seems to keep increasing over time. So, uh, so no, I don't think we can get 100 percent, but uh, there's quite a bit of evidence you could get to near 50 percent. A current solar power plant generates electricity at a cost of 20 cents per kilowatt hour. A new nuclear plant will do it for 15 cents and gas and coal for 10. The next generation of solar is actually capable of being below 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Very competitive with all of the mainstream uh, other sources of energy. Paradoxically, Alta's nanomaterial is expensive, super thin film gallium arsenide. Some, such as these researchers at UC Berkeley, maintain that the solution is cells made from abundant, super cheap materials. Alta's Chris Norris responds that cheap material means larger panels, and larger panels mean larger power plants that nullify any savings in material. Most of the costs are the fixed plant costs, not the cost of the semiconductor material. Decreasing the efficiency by half to reduce the cost of the semiconductor material just causes you to expand the most expensive part of the solar plant, which right. is all the steel and the right. wire and yeah. the labor to put it together. In other words, energy density at the panel enables cheaper solar all the way from sun to socket. The marketplace is already doing its part, with demand for solar panels doubling every year. A technology breakthrough like this one is just an added ray of hope. With the next step in solar energy, Richard Hart, ABC7 News.